Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this really pretty pattern. Now look at this. Now I'm making a little throw blanket and I'm using this Bernan Pop. Now I have got a hundred and twenty one. I started off with a hundred and twenty one stitches for this. A hundred and twenty one. Now this is Oops, I'm actually jumping around here. This is a weight four yarn. That's Aran in the UK. That's an Aran weight if you're in the UK and a medium number four weight if you're in the USA. So uh, I'm using a five and a half crochet hook for this. A UK five and a half. That's a number nine if you're in the USA. Now this is really pretty. It's only two rows. I've just made the pattern up. I've got two different stitches and I've just done it as a two row repeat. And you get this. Now the stitch is a UK half treble crochet. And if you're in the USA or another country, that's a half a double crochet. We're going to get this little bobble, we're going to do two together. And because we use two stitches, we've got to add one more stitch. And I'll show you how to do that. It is really easy. This is what the back looks like. It looks like kind of like the train track pattern on the back. But you get, so you can, it is reversible. You can have that pattern or you can have it with this and it is so pretty look at that really easy really easy for beginners now i'm going to pop this aside so i'm going to show you how to do that easy pattern really easy perfect for beginners or if you're an absolute beginner and never crochet before you should be able to do this pattern now use the hook size it tells you for the yarn that you're going to use just look on the label and it'll tell you what hook size to use. Now for this you need an odd number of stitches. An odd number. So do you chain any length that you want your project to be. Whether you're doing a pillowcase, a cushion, a blanket, an afghan, a throw. Do your chain to the length that you want in an odd number. So I've done a little chain of 21, an odd number. Now we're going to use a UK half treble crochet. If you're in the USA or in another country, that's a half double crochet. That's the stitches that we're going to be using. You're going to go into the second stitch, count one, two. So you'll lose that first one. That's why we're doing an odd number. So you'll lose that first stitch and you should end up with an even number of stitches. So put your yarn over and go into the second chain. One, two. Yarn over and go into the chain. Pull through. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through those three loops and you've made your first stitch. You've done your first half treble crochet. That's a half double crochet if you're in the USA or another country. Put one into each stitch. So yarn over into the next stitch and pull through. Yarn over through those three loops. Yarn over into the next stitch. Pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Now do that all the way to the end and you should have an even number of stitches left. So this is what you have. Now what we're going to do at the beginning and the end of the row, we're going to do a half treble crochet every row. To start your second row, you're going to chain one. That's your first row. So chain one and turn your work around. Now right into the very first stitch, you're going to do that half treble crochet again. So yarn over and into that first stitch, the first hole that you've got here, right below there, that one there, and do your half treble crochet. 
Now we're going to do the pattern and the little bobble will be on this side when you're finished. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the back loop of your work. That's this loop here. Now you've got a little V in your stitch. You're going into that back loop. You're going to use two stitches. But don't worry, we're not going to we're not going to be short, we're going to add a stitch and I'll show you how to do that. So yarn over and go into the back loop of the next stitch. Pull your yarn through, yarn over again into the back loop of the next stitch. Pull through and you should have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. Yarn over and come through them all. So you've done two half trebles together. Now into that last loop on this cluster, just go through that stitch. We're going to make a stitch. Because we've used two stitches, we need to replace it. So what you're doing is, there's your cluster of stitches, and that's your last loop. Go into that loop, Pull your yarn through both of those loops and that makes another stitch. We're going to do that all the way along and your last stitch will be one half treble. So yarn over into the next stitch, into the back loop and pull through. You've got three loops. Yarn over and into the next back loop of the stitch. Pull through. One, two, three, four, five loops. Yarn over, pull through them all, and then go in. Don't yarn over, go into that last loop again. Put your yarn over now and pull through. And that makes a stitch. So you're using two stitches, but we're creating two on the top. Do that all the way along. So yarn over into the back loop, pull through. Yarn over into the back loop, pull through, one, two, three, four, five loops, yarn over and come through them all. Don't pull that loop too tight. Now slip through that last loop in your cluster. Yarn over and pull through. One, through. One. Now I've got three stitches left, so one back loop, one back loop. Yarn over, through them all, through that last loop in the cluster. Yarn over and pull through. Now into your last stitch, you're going to do a half treble crochet. That's going to keep your edge nice and straight. Chain one and turn. And you're going to do your row of half treble crochets again. And that's the two rows. There's your little bobbles on this side. This side's playing with that little ridge running along. So into the first stitch, yarn over and do your row of half treble crochets. Yarn over into the next stitch, go right through the stitch this time. Yarn over into the next one, just as you normally do into the next one, all the way along. So I've got two stitches to go, and that's that row finished. And that's your little bobbles, you can see them there. Chain one and turn, do a half treble into the first stitch. And you'll do a full half treble into that little last stitch that's there. So yarn over and into the first stitch. And do your half treble. And if you're in the USA, that's a half double crochet. Now we're going to do the back loop again. We're going to do that little bobble. We're going to do two half trebles together. Yarn over and go into the back loop. Just the back loop this time. Pull through, 
yarn over and into the back loop of the next stitch. Pull through, yarn over, pull through all those loops and go through the last loop in the cluster and make a stitch. So pull through. Again, one half treble, yarn over, keep them all on the hook, go into the back loop of the next stitch, yarn over and through all of those loops. Then go through the last loop on the cluster to make a stitch and pull through. So you're using two stitches here, but we're actually creating two when we do the pattern. And your little bobble shows up on that other side, your little double half trebles or double half doubles if you're in the USA. So yarn over and into the back loop only. Yarn over into the next one. And pull through. Yarn over through all those loops. Make sure that one's not too tight and go in to the last loop of your cluster. So that's your cluster there and go in to the last loop. Pull your yarn through and you're making a stitch and that will replace the one you've used down there all the way along. Through my back loop. Pull through them all. Go through that loop, yarn over and pull through. And I've got one stitch left. Make sure you get that stitch and do just a half treble at the end. Chain one and turn and you're going to do a row of half treble crochet. You're going to do a row of half treble crochet. So I've done a chain one into the very first stitch of your half treble. Now go through the whole stitch. This time you're going through the whole stitch on this second row. Right through. Pull through. One half treble into each stitch. And that is the two rows you're going to do. Really easy. And this is what you'll get. This little bobble pattern. So one row of half treble crochets then one row of the two half trebles together then half treble row and then that little cluster with your half two half trebles together I'll show you the larger one I've got so I'll bring back my bigger blanket you can see it so much better and these bright colours and it is only two rows a UK half treble crochet and if you're in the USA that's a half double crochet you do one row and when you're on this back row that's when you'll use the back loops the back loop is this loop here the back loop you've got your V on the top and you're going in the back loop to do the bobble and you'll get this beautiful beautiful pattern look at this just two easy easy rows very easy use an odd number of stitches make it as long as you want it if you're making a cushion cover then just do it to either 12 or 8 whatever size cushion cover you want and then do it as an odd number if you're making a pillow, a blanket, a throw, make your chain as long as you want it with an odd number of stitches. And you can use the hook size it tells you on your yarn label that you've chosen. The yarn that you've chosen, just use that hook size for it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. It really gives the channel moral support and helps YouTube to get it seen a little bit more. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and I don't make any money from anyone who subscribes to the channel. If you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. And I want to thank everyone who's been supporting the channel by clicking 
in the description onto the coffee page and donating the price of a cup of coffee it helps keep the channel running so thank you so much for that and anyone who clicks that join button as well and gives a monthly donation for all the fans who have been doing that who I really really appreciate the help to keep the channel running as well so until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.